Hi all. So, what are the very important topics for your upcoming mains from modern India, freedom struggle, post independence, and world history? So, all the aspirants appearing for mains this year, please go through it. And also, aspirants appearing next year, please don't ignore these topics. Okay, let us start from modern India. Yes, this year marked 125th birth anniversary of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. So, of course, the ideologies, the contributions of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan to social reforms or to India's uh, modern renaissance, that is important. Especially his contributions on this upliftment on women or maybe his take on women reformism or women upliftment and the rights of women. Okay, or maybe like uh, fighting the social injustices related to women. That thing is very important. Then there is who there was recently the Honorable Prime Minister paid tributes to uh, some great leaders of uh, tribal uh, uprisings. We have seen there is uh, Birsa Munda is there, uh, Siddhu Kanhu there. So here it is important, Huldivas, celebration of Huldivas. So here it is important to cover the causes and consequences of popular tribal uprisings in modern India and their impact, their characteristics. Then see Sudeshi, recently we have seen there is a trend that uh, like uh, the central government actively involved in removing the symbols of colonial past. For example, there is renaming of this Rajpad with this uh, Kartavyapad and there is, you know, like uh, Admanarbad Bharat or there is a renaming of this uh, Indian Penal Court. So all those things are there. So it is very important. Just cover this Sudeshi movement, the causes, consequences, its implications, impacts or maybe its major uh, you know, contributions to India's freedom struggle. Then there is celebrating uh, 200 birth anniversary of uh, Swami Dayanand Sarasudhi. So the ideas of Swami Dayanand Sarasudhi, his take on education policy. Okay, new education policy is there. So there is a comparison. Dayanand Sarasudhi's take on education uh, policy or how it is different from modern education policy. Or there can be questions like this. Uh, Swami Dayanand Sarasudhi, Swami Vivekananda. Yes, their uh, compare and contrast their, you know, take on their views on education or maybe the system of education. So here, Dayanand Sarasudhi, Adya Samaj and his contributions, ideologies, that's important for you. Then 125th, this uh, year of Ramakrishna Mission, recently, Prime Minister has uh, successfully completed that uh, 45 hours, uh, like a meditation session in this Vivekananda Rock Memorial. Uh, so this year also marks... 125th year of this Ramakrishna mission. So we can expect the questions on Swami Vivekananda or his uh, ideas, ideologies on various aspects about women, about youth or about this uh, freedom, about uh, internationalism. So that things you have to cover very well. Then moving on to freedom struggle, I would say there is, yeah, this year marks 100 years of Vaikam Satyagraha, one of the first organized Yes, that uh, like uh, agitation against this um, so-called, you know, mass mobilization, mass agitation against this so-called, uh, yes, uh, feudal pasture, oppressive system, etc. So here, Vaikam Satyagraha that you shouldn't uh, miss. Then there's uh, 100 years of uh, Hindustan Republican Association, which is revolutionary movement, revolutionary spirit. Okay. Then there is, uh, yeah, 200 years of this Kittu rebellion by Rani Chennamma. So that's again very important. Yes, go for the cons causes, consequences, its overall impact on India's freedom struggle or anti-colonial struggle in India that you cover very well. Then Avadan, Mary Avadan, a movie on this biography on Usha Mehta was released. So the women, there are five prominent women and their contributions in 1942 revolt or Kit India movement that you have to cover very well. The role of women in Kit India, okay, cover very well. Then post-independence, yeah, this year marks the 50th year of this, you know, uh, yes, imposition of the emergency provisions. So that's important as far as this constitutional evolution of the constitutional provisions are concerned or maybe emergency and its impact, its overall political economic impact implications, you know, cover very well. There are 100 years of this MS Swaminathan, that is the father of this green revolution, his contributions to this, you know, like a, like a green revolution. Green revolution was already asked. So there are, you know, prominent figures who contributed to there is industrial growth or maybe agricultural revolution. Okay, all those elements are important. Also, he was conferred with uh, Bharadagna. Then this, uh, yeah, 20th year, this year marked 20th year, death, you know, 20th year of the death anniversary of this Narasimha Rao, the former pri Prime Minister, conferred with Bharadagna recently. 
So it was during his time there is LPG reforms or you can go for that lookist policy, activist policy. Okay, all those things are there. So cover very well major like you know developments or reforms during his time. Then there is Veer Savakar, Prime Minister paid uh, tributes to Veer Savakar uh, on his death anniversary. So Veer Savakar, there can be comparison type of question. His contributions to pre-independent India, post-independent India or comparison with uh, other freedom fighter, Gandhi, Subhash Chandra Bose, Jawaharlal Nehru, etc. Then 15 women, the recently Republic Day parade, you see that uh, there is uh, women-centric, you know, like uh, initiatives who are there. So here it is important. Like women contributions to role of women in the freedom struggle, similar way cover this uh, role of women in this you know constitutional constitution making. So cover it very well. Then this uh, this year marks the seventieth year of this uh, Panjshil agreement. Okay, especially India-China relations. You know, yes, the role of this Panjshil agreement and uh, how this has been. You know, like uh, an in, uh, I mean instrumental or it plays an instrumental role in this. You know, yes, uh, deciding India-China relations, etc. Then there is uh, yeah, 100 years of this uh, birth anniversary of this uh, um, um, Adil Bihari Bajpay. So his contributions or maybe major reforms or major developments during his uh, tenure that you cover very well. Similar way from world history, yeah, marking this year, marking 75th year of this uh, NATO, uh, you know, like uh, organization or its emergence and its uh, role and uh, how it's leading to Cold War, dissolution of USSR or India's uh, NAM agreement, NAM policy, etc. So cover very well. Then Israel-Palestine, recently this war is ongoing. So what is that uh, historical perspective of this Israel-Palestine Israel war? Then this, you know, this year marked the 30th year of this uh, yeah, abolition of apartheid system in South Africa. So apartheid system, how it affected this, you know, people of South Africa or uh, Indian, Indian labor class or Indian people in this South Africa, those things you cover very well, okay? This is some selective or some important topics you shouldn't miss for this year mains exam. Either in GS1 or GS2 or in GS4, you can expect questions from these teams only. So shouldn't miss, cover it nicely, all the best.